question number 75 a question was asked on transients so this is a simple question again if you know the transient concepts perfectly so in a given network shown in the figure a steady state is reached when switch k is open when k is open steady state is occurred so at t equal to 0 switch has been closed switch is closed at t equal to 0 determine the values of i1 i2 i3 at t equal to 0 plus so there are th there are two cases which we need to study in steady state i mean in the uh, transients one is steady state conditions and one is conditions at t equal to zero plus if you can study these two points then you can you would have covered the studies i mean the transient chapter properly so let me explain you in brief at least by this lecture you can cover at least uh, 30 to 40 percent of the transients so in that manner I'll explain you so that you can easily understand you can cover 30 to 40 percent of transients so whenever it is a steady state t less than 0 or t equal to infinity sometimes both are steady states only both at both the cases the same thing will happen so this will call it a steady state steady state is a state where t is less than 0 very negative value or high positive value okay so at this case if there is a capacitor then simply replace that capacitor with open circuit if there is an inductor replace that inductor with a short circuit this please you remember okay capacitor replace with open circuit inductor replace with short circuit when it is in a steady state steady state means t less than zero or t is infinity this is point number one in transients why all those things you will study in detail in transients okay then point number two at t equal to zero plus it's completely different behavior so at t equal to 0 plus you need to replace the capacitor with the voltage source you need to replace the capacitor with voltage source and an inductor with current source then what should be its value you may ask what should be the value of voltage source and current source 5 volts 10 volts what it should be it should be the value of steady state voltage across that capacitor means the voltage across capacitor you calculate opens it see in steady state you'll open the capacitor right yes you will open that capacitor at that capacitor you find the voltage open voltage you can find if even though if it is an open circuit there exists a voltage i think you know that basics even though it's a short circuit there exists a current okay so during steady state whatever the capacitors you are opening or whatever the inductors you are closing th whenever you open this capacitor at this you find the voltage that voltage will be useful for t equal to zero plus instant then inductor is replaced with a current source with a value of the current which is same as the current flowing through the short circuit when the inductor is in steady state so you need to replace the inductor with a current source and its value should be il of zero minus mean the current computed through the inductor when it is short circuited i'll explain you clearly more clearly through this example fine consider this circuit same circuit we'll analyze this circuit first even though he's asking at t equal to 0 plus first we need to know we need to analyze this circuit at t equal to less than 0 t less than 0 okay fine so at t less than 0 i already told capacitor should be replaced with open circuit and inductor should be replaced with short circuit i replaced the inductor with short circuit you can see here and capacitor i replaced with open circuit remaining all connections are intact they are not changed at all so 6 volt as it is, 3, 2 ohms, resistor will never change, this is 4 ohms, everything is same. Now, let me, what I need to do is, I need to calculate this voltage across capacitors, open circuit voltage and the current through this, because that will be useful in the T equal to 0 plus instant. Fine. First, I'll calculate current through this inductor, open, uh, it's a short circuit, even though there is no inductor, I can calculate the IL of 0 minus. This is nothing but just applying the kvl in this loop this is nothing but 6 by 6 you can see 6 by 2 plus 4 6 so the current through the inductor when t less than 0 in steady state it is nothing but 1 ampere this current will be exactly same as current at 0 plus that you need to remember okay il of current through inductor will never change instantly it doesn't change instantly so il of 0 minus is same as il of 0 plus now i need to calculate voltage across this voltage across this capacitor fine the voltage across vc1 i need to calculate first of all i will calculate the overall voltage between a and b the overall voltage between a and b first i'll calculate it's nothing but 4 uh, 4 ohms 
the current through it is 1 ampere total the current in this total branch is 1 ampere because the current cannot flow through this current through this is 0 fine so 4 ohms into 1 ampere it's nothing but 4 volts so between a and b the total voltage is 4 so between this point and this point also it is 4 4 is should be divided between this capacitor and this capacitor this capacitor i think it's already i think it is 0.5 the capacitor value is 0.5 farads and this capacitor we have short circuited uh, open circuited this is 1 farad let me check once again yeah 0 0.5 and 1 so you know voltage division rule for a capacitor so voltage division for a rule for a capacitor is exactly opposite to that of resistor for resistor the voltage division rule is vr1 if you want to take it is nothing but total voltage multiplied with same resistance divided by sum of two resistance okay for capacitor if you want to vc1 if you want you need to take opposite capacitance divided by sum of two capacitance is exactly opposite so vc1 of 0 minus is nothing but total voltage is 4 multiplied with opposite rest opposite capacitance is 1 that i have taken here total capacitance is 1.5 okay so if you do this calculation you are going to get 8 by 3 volts similarly vc2 of 0 minus is nothing but opposite capacitance is 0 0.5 divided by total capacitance is 1.5 multiplied with total voltage is 4 between a and b the total voltage is 4 so this yields to 4 by 3 volts fine i think you are ready with vc1 of 0 minus vc2 of 0 minus and also you are ready with il of 0 minus similar this is same as vc1 of 0 plus because voltage across capacitor will never change current across inductor and voltage across capacitor will never change fine same values we will use in the t equal to 0 plus i already insisted a t equal to 0 plus an inductor is replaced with a current current source you can see here and a capacitor is replaced with a voltage source what are its values the values which you have just computed okay fine so you can see inductor i replaced with a current source you can see here it is replaced with a current source and its value is one ampere downward direction so because il of zero minus is one ampere so i got and this is vc this i replaced with a voltage source what is its voltage value vc1 of 0 minus which is nothing but 8 by 3 volts i replaced then vc2 of 0 minus also 4 by 3 volts same thing i replaced now what i need to calculate is i need to calculate i1 i2 i3 because this indicates i1 of 0 plus i2 of 0 plus i3 of 0 plus because i am calculating all of them at 0 plus instance okay fine so first let me calculate sorry okay first let me calculate at this branch see you can see I have given all the currents I1, I2, I3 as per the given direction in the question. You can see he has given I1, you can see here. I1 is given, I2 is given and I3 is given. Same directions I am following in my figure also. So I have followed the same directions. Now what I did is I1, I1 is going like this. You can see here I1 is going like this because I1 is flowing like this. So same I1, right? So next I2 is flowing like this because this is I2, this will be I2 i2 is flowing like this then at this node i am applying the kcl so this i don't know i am assuming it as x so input is i1 this i1 is splitting into x and i2 then what is x x is nothing but i1 minus i2 fine now you understood the current flowing through this uh, resistor is i1 minus i2 fine let me draw that separately that same resistor 4 ohms i have drawn here you can see here yeah the same resistor i have drawn 4 ohms resistance and the current through this terminal is i1 minus i2 that is nothing but x then the voltage across this is nothing but 8 by 3 because in parallel the same voltage will will be there because the plug is sh i mean pre the one more thing i would like to say previously there is no plug that's why i have removed that because after t equal to 0 plus instant the switch has been closed the switch has been closed hence i close this so the voltage across this 4 ohm resistor is nothing but 8 by 3 ohms okay this is one more uh, thing which you need to note because here there is no no uh, key i mean the switch has not closed hence i have not closed here or else i would have closed here it is closed because it is t uh, zero plus instant it is after zero this is previous one as before zero so t a switch is closed exactly at t equal to zero so in this way you have uh, concluded this one okay so from this you apply 
ohm's law ohm's law states that v equal to ir i is equal to v by r so i is nothing but i1 minus i2 is flowing the voltage difference between these two ends of the resistor is nothing but 8 by 3 and the resistance value is 4 so if you simplify this you are going to get i1 minus i2 as 2 by 3 amperes okay so let us check i options are given for i1 i2 i3 see you can apply you can find i2 you can find i1 you can find i3 separately but somewhere i1 will uh, will not obey K kcl and i3 also will not obey kcl kcl or kvl it it disobeys okay it is violating kcl or kvl when you are trying to find i1 or i3 so don't find that directly just find the difference between i1 and i2 i1 minus i2 is 2 by 3 amperes that you keep in your mind you can see first option this is i1 i1 minus i3 it is 2 by 3 you are getting okay this can be the right choice second option i1 and i2 are given same i1 minus i2 will be 0 so this is incorrect option c 0 minus 0 it is 0 incorrect option d 1 minus 1 it is 0 incorrect so the right choice is option a i1 minus i2 should be 2 by 3 no need to calculate remaining all currents because it's a time time factor is very important in isro if you can manage the time you will get the you can clear the written test so easy question based on transients if you have a practice on transient you can do within two minutes this question maximum two minutes you can do this okay if you don't want to do this you can leave this but uh, make sure that you should do these simple questions okay so this is the end of this video if you have any queries please post them in the comment box i'll be making other video if you have any queries or i'll be telling you clarifying the doubts there and there itself so and subscribe the channel for more getting more updates thank you